the base. Warren Giroux has joined us and uh, he is an avid biker and uh, I understand that you guys have just uh, come back from a trip, so you and some of the other folks. Yeah, uh, eight other main guys, seven other main guys. We uh, went down to Austin, Texas uh, over the last weekend, about a five-day trip, and kicked off the endurance uh, mountain bike race season at the Austin Rattler, which is a Leadville 100 qualifier, which is a great race, great time, and, and uh, nice summer riding. So it was great. We're psyched to be back in Maine and get yeah. on some Maine dirt and get rolling. What's what's the difference in, in uh, the terrain down there? Um, a few less rocks, a few less roots, and it was flatter, you know. Uh, a little bit of rolling terrain, but not, you know, no big climbs like Kiribati Valley, but uh, it was it was a challenge for sure. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you get some people excited down in Texas about coming up here to Maine? You know, it was a gal who's uh, one of the main uh, uh, coordinators of Leadville and, and at least two or three times over the the MCPA system for the whole race, uh, the it was big shout outs to the eight main guys that they said drove to Texas which was quite true. But uh, <laughs> she's from Mass and has a camp in Greenville and is always psyched to see the main folks. So um, we got a little recognition. Yeah, it was great. And how did you place? So I was like 45 or 6 out of 850 registered. I think only about 600 Huge. maybe finished yeah. um, in the solo division. So I, I, time-wise, my time was better than I was uh, expecting for a great day. And, yeah. and that's always psyched about that. And you finish where you finish. Yeah. Um, so that was cool. So we got a race coming up here. Uh, the 6th Annual Carabasset Valley uh, 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 Mountain Bike Association uh, bringing uh, a race. Now, this is a... Uh, uh, 100k, 50k, and a 25k, right? Correct. Yeah, and so there's something for everyone there. Absolutely, and and you know, uh, just because maybe you're not an avid racer doesn't mean you can't come out and partake. You know, even if you do the, the 25k, which was it's going to be a great race, great riding. Um, you know, I tell people that don't, you know, they they're kind of like, well, I'm not really a racer. Well, you don't have to be in race mode. It's like you come out, you're going to get a chance to do uh, a long you know, supported ride, uh, and you're going to get to see some great trails, um, and, and they're all going to be sort of linked together in a great sense that um, flows well and, and, and rides well, and maybe some stuff you haven't seen before or, or directions that you haven't ridden before, which cannot make all the difference in the world. You've raced in a lot of states, haven't you? Yeah, several, yeah. Uh, what, how does Carabasset Valley's uh, trail system compare to something or other? It's really second to none. I mean, you know, I've raced all over New England, uh, you know, New York, Texas, Utah, and, and in Canada. And the, the quality of the trails that are here are second to none. And uh, as this race has evolved, um, each year getting a little better, um, really this race is, is just as good as any other race. I do probably 10 to 12 a year. And this course and the production of this race is as good as any. You know, it's 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 really legitimate, uh, and it's a great test. It takes a lot of volunteers, a lot of people to put that together in the trail system. Absolutely. Does that uh, all of the proceeds benefit uh, the trail system? S yeah. So um, for the CBCC, the profits um, from the race they go back to, to you know the, the town. The town is really the host and the right. producer. Um, so they take the profits, they reinvest back into trail building, and um, like pretty much all trail-related items, um, funds raised, the town will also match um, the monies raised, which is huge. So it's like you're doubling down on what you generate, which is, I mean, that, the support that the town has given uh, the mountain bike community is enormous. I mean, it's just unprecedented, I think. Yeah, Carabasa Valley is a pretty amazing place and does really recognize the gem that it has. Absolutely. Yeah, and when does that race take place? Uh, so July 16th this year, it's a Saturday. Um, this year, all um, the kids race and, and all three races, everything's going to happen on um, Saturday on one day. In the past, there's been a little bit of stuff going on on Sunday, but... Um, race Saturday, bring the family, the kids, um, and then you have you know Sunday to also get out there and, and, and ride some more trail and experience the um, you know, mountain biking in Carabasset. Right. I'm, I'm sure you need volunteers for that, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> lots of volunteers. And, um, you know, this year we're trying to, um, I got involved with the committee to try to expand the event and, and, and make it a little bit bigger, um, get some more people up here. And... 
Um, you know, we're expecting some growth, so some more volunteers in that respect. But it's also great, you know, when you're out racing. I'd like to, to, to you know, in years past, apparently, there's, we've had lots of volunteers and maybe not a place for everybody, but I'd really like to put an effort out there to, to direct some volunteers to some locations that are easy to drive through, but they're kind of out where racers don't expect them, and they pop out of the woods, and, and there's music playing, and, and coolers of beer, and water, and bacon cooking, and, and cowbells, and I mean, that as a racer, that just makes for such a great experience to come across that when you're out there. It's great. <laughs> the, the smell of bacon oh, yeah. and the ringing of the bell. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I've seen it in races in January. I've seen it in the, you know, the outbacks in New Brunswick. I've yeah. seen it in Utah. It, it, it's great. Yeah. And, and we, we, should, we should do that. Yeah. So. I'm sure that uh, Carabasset Valley uh, has their, uh, at, on their website, but it is also, is it uh, details of the race also on your website, Carabasset um, uh, right. Bike Association? Right, so um, the Carabasset Nemba's website, which I believe is uh, carabasset.nemba.org, there's a page on uh, that website, which is the local Nemba chapter. Um, there's a page for the race. Um, we've also put a huge uh, effort in this year with the uh, um, help of uh, Lori Grenzer for the, on the Facebook page, trying to keep um, the Facebook very active and right. keep it uh, on people's radar. So Carabasa Backcountry Cycle Challenge on Facebook, um, type that in the search, it should come up. And also um, on the Facebook page, there is a link for the registration page, which is uh, on Bike Reg. So from Facebook, you can link right to the page, or you can go to bikereg.com, click on uh, Off-Road Races New England, scroll down to July, and we'll be there. Um, so people can go to the Facebook page, RSVP, um, get all the information, and everything's on Bike Reg, and, and there's also stuff on the Carabas at NEMBA site. Got all the pages um, covered. We're working on it. You know, <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you've got some dedicated people. And, we do. Uh, yeah. The committee uh, yeah. works very hard, including yourself, Warren. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Greg. Warren Duro, and he is here talking about that race that's coming up the, uh, this summer. And you definitely want to get involved if you are a mountain biker, or maybe you just want to come and spectate. Maybe ring a bell, cook some bacon. They'd like that too. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more on the Mountain Report. Don't go.